The machine is back again. Let's get into it. Torture Talk, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to get into the new Conway the Machine project. But before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate, the Cash App is in the description. The PayPal is in the description. Thank everybody for all your donations. I really appreciate it. It really supports the channel. If you don't want to donate and you want to just support the channel, the best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe, and put this video where you deem fit. You know. So let's get into this, man. Conway, the machine, from king to god. All right, so Conway the machine, Griselda's own. I don't have to introduce him. You know what it is. I done did a couple of different reviews of Conway the machine. Um... I also felt like Conway the Machine was my favorite rapper out of the group Griselda, but I want to get into his album. Okay, so Conway drops this album, and I listen to it. Now, let me be fair. Let me let me just be let me just be clear. Now, I don't want people to be upset with these reviews or make it seem like I'm being biased. Now, I know that this is something that I don't supposed to put on camera. But I'm going to put on camera anyway because I like to be fully transparent and I think that everybody should hear these certain type of things. So, I think that Conway and Griselda has hit their peak. Now, with me saying that doesn't mean that they don't, they don't make good music. I think they have hit their peak, their level. They haven't leveled up to me in a long time. This album doesn't sound too much better than his last couple of projects. But even though I can recognize that this album is actually better, but it doesn't, it's not leaps and bounds ahead of the last album. It's still on the same lines. Now, with that being said, I can see the growth coming. I can see it coming because with this album, he has skits. With this album, he has things that an album should be. You know? Things an album should be. And I appreciate appreciated that about this album. I thought that he did what albums are supposed to be. Now, his last albums didn't feel like albums. They felt like glorified mixtapes. But this one feels like the one. This feels like the start of the journey to be to overcome that overcome that uh that that cat that they reached you know start that journey well him for i should say so raps were great on this album great i think that he showed me that even though it's still to me he still hasn't reached that he hasn't overcome that peak he still can come out with some great bars. He can still come out with a strong, strong verses. You know what I'm saying? I think that as long as he knows how to, uh, how would I say this? As long as he knows how to capture his fans now and bring in new fans and gradually move up, Conway is going to be great. I think that as long as he knows that, because I think a lot of artists, they think that they're going to always come in and just rap the way they rap for 10 years. No, you can't do that because especially when you want people, you want to gain more fans. You want to gain more fans. You want people to like you for who you are. But for some people, you have to, you have to uh, let them in. You know what I'm saying? You have to let them in. They can't just like you because and then eventually they'll like you and then they'll stop liking you because that's what it is. So you have to let them in. And I'm thinking that now. He's starting to understand it more and he's starting to let them in. So lyrics was great. I thought that the lyrics was great. Song the song content and quality to me for our song content. Song content was the same as, you know, what they always do. 
so I'm not even going to criticize that. It's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? But the song content it is. So if you like that type of music, it's perfect for you. So song content is what it is. Sound quality was great. Um, sound quality was great. I think that the sound quality on this album, uh, the mixing was good. Um, not really, I'm not going to sit here and say it's perfect, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Instrumentation, great. That to me was the high point of this album. Um, some of the beats I thought were okay, but the ones that were really good was really good. The beats were banging. So I think that uh, Conway has a certain flow, and I think that with that flow, he, uh, you know, he whoever produces his beats, he captured. They know they know how to capture that sound and that hard, that gritty, you know, that gritty street sound. So. So album I gave this album, I gave this album a strong, a strong seven, pushing up to an eight. I think that uh, Conway, to me, matter of fact, you know, no, you know what? This album is this album is an eight. This album is an eight. It's a, it's a, it's an eight. It's not a strong seven. No, this is an eight. This is an eight. This is one of those albums I think that people are gonna reference. They're gonna go back and say, yeah, that was one of his best albums. This album is a solid eight. Yes, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a, it's a strong seven. No, it's an eight, and I probably would go as far as saying pushing up to a um, pushing up to a um, a strong eight. So it's a solid eight pushing up to a strong eight. I can see people liking this album. I think that for me, I'm a little more uh, I, I I want a little more from them, but I see why people like them because they already accepted that about them. So me, I always want more out of an artist. So, you know, maybe if you want to say that's biased towards any artist, whatever. But for me, I like to see artists push themselves to the limit and break that barrier. And not just like the last few projects you did, you know, it sounds like a you know glorified mixtape. So, Conway the Machine, Kings the God, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Good work, Conway. Good work, man.